Hey everyone, um, this video that I'm going to teach you is a 90s song that is probably one of the best 90s songs by Marcy Playground, and it of course is Sex and Candy. Um, they, you can always find the original version, but they also did an acoustic version that I like a lot. Anyway, so, I'm going to teach you how it goes, and it opens up with the... Mm -hmm. The, the little riff, which is just you put your index finger on the third string, second fret, and you're gonna pluck it and hammer on to the fourth fret. And then you put on the um, four string, fourth fret, and then you go down to the second fret of the four string and pull off to open. So. And then it goes to this, which is like a B. It's just uh, you're muting the sixth, hitting the fifth on the second fret, hitting the fourth on the fourth fret, and the third on the fourth fret. So you don't have to do that. I do it because I think they do it in the acoustic version. So you just you know letting go and putting back on your index finger. It's pretty easy. So. It starts off with a G, the F sharp, or whatever that is, back to the B, Anyway, but on those, on the G and on the F whatever, I'm not strumming the entire chord. I'm basically like hitting the first four. And, and I mean, you can even hit the first like two if you want to. You can just, it doesn't matter. But I don't strum the whole thing because I think it sounds very going like, and like, I don't like that. I like, it. it's supposed to be like a darker song, so. Just hitting the top strings will give you that sound. Okay, um, so when it goes to the chorus, the little, like, This is a D bar chord, but you can also, and then you can go to A, and then anyway, but I go D to the B, G, it's so D, A, B, G, and then back to the F start over. That's pretty much the whole song. I mean, the other way you can play it also, the whole entire thing, and if you're not comfortable with these bar chords, you can go... You're gonna have to play this bar chord, unless you just wanna like, like just do the two fingers on the sixth and fifth, or just the, the three. You don't have to do the entire bar chord. So you can do that. Well, you're gonna have to do the, that, and then the, um, the D, A, You can do it that way if you want. If you're not comfortable with the bar chords, you can just do the regular open chords or whatever they're called. So, anyway, it's all up to you, and that's it. <laughs>